Soul Bad Guy. Soul Bad Guy is a well-rounded rushdown character with a collection of deceptively fast normal attacks, a good projectile, a great meterless reversal, and combos that deal high damage and grant knockdowns. These knockdowns let Soul apply his simple but effective mix-up game, which uses frame traps, a command grab, frightening counter hits, and one of the game's best low-profile moves. Soul's combos and Okizeme also scale up intuitively, which means he has a high skill ceiling for players who want to be truly optimal. If you're feeling frisky, he also has Dragon Install, one of the highest risk, highest reward supers in all of Guilty Gear. Soul is your character if you want simple, effective mix-ups with a bit of complexity. You want a strong, meterless reversal that your opponent must always respect. You want to be rewarded heavily for reading the opponent and taking risks. Kai Kai, Kai is a simple, well-rounded character who is happy to control neutral with great pokes and projectiles. Mid-screen, Kai must sacrifice damage in exchange for Okizeme, but his Okizeme more than makes up for it. Once Kai has pushed his opponent into the corner, it becomes much tougher to escape or challenge his loopable projectile Okizeme, and his reward on hit becomes much more damaging. His anti-airs are also very strong, and although his meterless reversal is slow, it's still there in a pinch. Kai may not be the flashiest character, but he's dependable and solid like no one else. Kai is your character if... You want to control your opponent safely, push him to the corner, and keep him there. You want safe, loopable Okizeme and solid damage. You want a character with no major weaknesses. Answer! Answer, Answer is part businessman, part ninja. He can set scrolls around the screen, then zip around between them or attack. The scrolls give Answer telegraphed but powerful mobility, and his scroll options include a frame 1 home encounter, an overhead, and a low. Answer is no slouch on the ground either, thanks to his good pokes, good anti-airs, a command grab, and a strong projectile with two different follow-ups. The ground version of Answer's counter is a decent reversal, but his biggest problem is his low meter gain, because he needs a lot of meter for conversions and neutral. But if you spend your resources wisely, Answer is a stylish, agile character with lots of depth. Answer is your character if... You like flying around the screen and confusing your opponent. You want to combine good normals with mobility and some defense. You're okay with being weak to Blitz. Axel Low. Axel has few surprises. His attacks have very long range, and he uses them to harass his opponent and control the pace of neutral. His ground control is good, thanks to his normals and special moves like Sparrowhawk Stance and his Rensen Projectile. Rensen YRC is one of his best ways to spend meter for pressure extensions and space control. Axel's pressure isn't very scary, but he does a decent job building his opponent's guard bar, which makes his anti-airs hurt more. This is important because Axel has several very good anti-airs that confirm into full combos, and the damage is quite respectable if he can loop Axel Bomber in the corner. If all else fails, he can pull out a gimmick, like his meterless reversal or one of his unblockables. Axel is straightforward almost to a fault, but what he does, he does very well. Axel is your character if... You really like anti-airing people. You enjoy whittling away at your opponent and frustrating him into making mistakes. You're willing to trade mix-up potential for range. Biken. Biken is defined by Azami, a frame 1 guard point stance with several follow-ups. This powerful defensive tool allows Biken to disrespect almost any pressure gap and she can even cancel into a zombie while blocking. Biken can adjust her defense to beat almost any strike, but her advancing options are risky and she has terrible stun resistance. Her pressure, once she does get in, combines good frame traps, a throw that combos in the corner, and a true instant overhead. Her combos give great Okizeme afterwards thanks to her tatami projectile, if you can reliably use it with an IAD. Biken's tools are not perfect, but overall she is a powerful, explosive character with a high technical ceiling. Biken is your character if you want obnoxiously strong defense, good offense, and decent neutral. You want several ways to challenge your execution. You like winning big or dying hard. Bedman. Bedman. Bedman is defined by the way he defies conventions. 
He has an 8-way delayable air dash. He has by far the game's fastest walk speed, but his forward dash is a bizarre teleport parry. He has only four special moves, but completing one of them leaves a deja vu seal on the screen, which lets him replay those moves while acting independently of the deja vu. Generally, Bedman plays a slow, cautious zoning game until he secures a good knockdown. On the offensive, he switches gears to a mix-up machine who can force guess after guess, and it only gets scarier as he builds meter and moves closer to the corner. Bedman's defense, however, is very weak. He has a sometimes unreliable anti-air, low guts, a big hurt box, and his only true reversal is a slow, throwable super. Bedman is your character if you want to play a totally different game from everyone else. You want to outplay and mix up your opponent several seconds in advance. You want unorthodox movement instead of something normal. Chip Zana. Zana. Chip is everything in the kitchen sink. Fast ground normals, strong air normals, a command overhead, high speed on the ground or in the air, a triple jump, an invisible burst, two command grabs, a wall cling, four teleports, an invincible reversal, rekkas, multiple projectiles, and he can turn invisible. He is also excellent at closing rounds thanks to his extended burst safe combos. Chip's most notorious drawback is his life bar, by far the lowest in the game, to the point that he can easily lose a round from two long combos. Chip has every tool and gimmick you could ever possibly want, but if he gets hit the wrong way, it's over. Chip is your character if you want absolutely everything in the toolbox and the freedom to use it. You want your opponent to respect your options at all times. You're okay with a life bar half the size of everyone else's. Dizzy. Dizzy. Dizzy is very fast on the ground and in the air, and with her second air dash and bevy of projectiles, she can greatly restrict her opponent's options. In turn, that lets her create very favorable situations for breathing room or harassment. Once she knocks her opponent down, she can summon a combination of projectiles and force her opponent to guess between tick throws, high lows, f shikis, or cross-ups, all of which hurt and lead back into the same suffocating vortex. True to her name, Dizzy has the lowest stun resistance in the entire game, and she can easily die from a few bad counter hits. Dizzy has no meterless reversal, but she has some very good normals to defend herself with, and her mobility lets her escape situations where other characters would be trapped. Dizzy is your character if you want a wide arsenal of specialized projectiles, you want more Okizeme than you know what to do with, you want to make your opponent chase you, then punish him for overextending. Elfelt Valentine. Elfelt is a very powerful and versatile character who is comfortable just about anywhere. Her host of fast, far, and sometimes disjointed normals gives her great space control, and her pine berry grenade is a strong zoning and pressure tool. Complementing this are two gun stances. The sniper rifle, which can threaten her opponent anywhere on the screen or set up an unblockable, and the shotgun, which grants smothering corner pressure. Elfelt's combos deal high damage and give her good Okizeme afterwards, and she has a great standing overhead. The only awkward thing is her primary anti-air, close S, is a proximity normal, but she can still combo from it on trades and her other options are so good she's just fine in situations where close S doesn't work. Elfelt is your character if you like playing strong, simple, well-rounded characters. You want a best-in-class tool for every situation. You want a character with no major weaknesses. Faust. You might think Faust is a joke character, given his appearance and his signature mechanic, the item throw, which generates a totally random item. Anything from meteor showers to oil slicks to black holes to donuts. However, Faust backs up his gambling addiction with a suite of excellent pokes, anti-airs, and mix-up tools, including a proximity unblockable and an instant overhead. His combos are simple and stable, which is good because Faust's goal is not to melt the opponent with huge damage. He wants to introduce chaos to the match, then prey upon his opponent's hesitation. Faust is your character if you want to be rewarded for good situational awareness. You love injecting chaos into every round. You don't mind being hit by character-specific combos. Eno. 
Eno may remind you of some Darkstalkers characters. Rather than a grounded run, she has a hover dash, which propels her forward and up at various angles. This dash is great for pressure and mix-ups, and she has some flashy advanced movement tricks, but it makes her neutral movement very limited. Fortunately, she has solid ground and air normals, a great low-profile attack, a controllable multi-hit projectile, and an enormous projectile poke in Chemical Love. If that wasn't enough, her damage output is very high, and she has two of the game's best supers. Eno takes a bit of getting used to, but nobody breaks the rules quite like her. Eno is your character if... You want enough offensive options to break any defense and make it hurt. You want to live and die by unorthodox movement. You want a low skill floor and a high ceiling. Jack O. Jack O is a poke heavy character with a unique way of snowballing. Instead of striking the opponent herself, she places houses on the ground which spawn servants that automatically advance and attack. Over time, houses and servants level up, gaining more health and attack power. If left alone, these servants will swarm an opponent, locking him down while Jacko can do whatever she wants. She may sound complicated, but it's really the opposite. Jacko has simple great pokes and anti-airs, automatic meter gain near her houses, and a win condition that serves her opponent on a silver platter. The catch? Without houses, Jacko gets little reward from anything, so it's very important for her to stall and avoid taking risks while they level up. Jacko is your character if... You want to gain and spend meter automatically. You want a universal win condition that builds passively. You enjoy improvising with servants to extend pressure and combos. You prefer focusing on strategy over execution. Jam Kuradberry Jam is a short-range powerhouse who throws herself at opponents. She can apply smothering offense using vacuum and plus frame normals, scary frame drop options like 6H, pressure resets, and fast overheads, plus a comboable throw. She also has several kick-based special moves which can be cancelled into each other and powered up by charging cards. The powered up versions of these moves give her more consistent knockdowns or better combos or more invulnerability. Although Jam lacks a true reversal without cards, her parry is a frame 1 reversal against mids and overheads and it complements her naturally fast buttons. She also has great uses for meter and lightning quick mobility. Jam is your character if you want great frame traps and great scramble options. You want a good mix of offense, speed, and defense at the cost of range. You love building and spending lots of meter. Johnny. Johnny. Johnny is a grounded space control character who uses his fast, long normals to stuff approaches and enforce stagger pressure. His dash and jump are committal, but moves like Zweihander and Air Mistfinder stance give him other mobility options. Johnny starts each round with 8 coins, and if he hits an opponent with one, it increases the damage, speed, and combo options of his next Mistfinder attack up to 2 levels. Mistfinder gives him incredible combo versatility. Coin levels, stance cancels, character weights, and screen position will all affect his options. Johnny isn't easy, but with practice, he becomes truly fearsome, thanks to his great pokes, anti-airs, backdash, mix-ups, a comboable throw, and a nasty unblockable. Johnny is your character if... You want excellent ground control based on pokes. You love doing hard, stylish combos. You want to plumb a bottomless well of mix-ups, combos, and tech. Kum -hyo. Although Kum appears to be a wise old man, that is actually a robot piloted by a small Korean woman, and she has plenty of tricks up her sleeve. Kum's Shinken kick loops and her puppet-like projectiles give her extremely high damage and extremely good Okizeme respectively. And don't forget her fast 5H overhead, or the potential for combos off of throw using a fireball. Supporting those strengths, Kum has simple and effective neutral pokes and pressure normals, and one of the game's best 2P jabs. Although she lacks a meterless reversal and has poor mobility, Kum's high life and damage output allow her to wait for a big opportunity to even up a round. Kum is your character if... You want straightforward pokes and special moves supported by huge damage. You want oppressive Okizeme that can be looped into itself. You're okay with mashing or using meter for defense.
Leo Whitefang. Leo specializes in stagger pressure using his rekas and back turn stance. This stance prevents him from jumping and blocking, but gives him a terrifying suite of pressure tools in exchange, including a fast, advancing, plus on block overhead, a cross up dash, and an invulnerable counter. Leo also cranks the guard bar, so even small openings can hurt a lot, and his counter hits can lead to extended combos for huge damage and stun. Leo's meterless reversal gives him Okizeme on hit, but his weaknesses can hold him back, restrictive and slow movement, and slow pokes which force him to take risks when approaching. But if he does get in, he can steal an entire round. Leo is your character if you want a simple, very effective mix-up game to compensate for limited neutral tools. You want a less mobile character who can make his opponents explode. You want everyone to know you're the king of the jungle. May. May. May boasts some of the highest damage and stun in the entire game, and she can easily switch between zoning and rushdown. Her projectiles and air normals are great for controlling space, and if her opponent decides to block, she has a command grab that launches for a full combo. May can be played very simply, but she has many technical options, such as dolphin cancels, for skilled players to style with. Although May gets little reward from her ground pokes, they are great for interrupting and annoying opponents. Together with her reversal super, great back dash, and jump speed, she's never truly at a loss. May is your character if you want big damage and stun from simple combos. You like jumping around and pushing buttons. You want a high skill ceiling that will give you many options as you improve. Melia Rich. Melia is famous for her unreactable mix-ups, suffocating Okizeme, and ability to win neutral instantly thanks to her hairpin throw. She combines all of this with extremely fast ground and aerial movement, two air dashes, and some downright oppressive air normals. Her grounded pokes are a bit lacking, but her short-range attacks are great for executing her game plan. Knock the opponent down, then never let him breathe again. Melia can anti-air with moves like 5P and 6P, but due to her low health and stun, her best defense is either a good offense or moving out of the way. If her opponent ever does manage to hit her, she dies very easily. Melia is your character if you want tons of mobility options for neutral and offense. You want to vortex your opponent to death from a single mistake. You prefer evading your opponent rather than directly challenging him. Potemkin. Potemkin is a brick wall. Advancing patiently, he aims to bully and corner his opponent using slow but powerful attacks. Potemkin doesn't have an air dash or a run, so he relies on his armored hammerfall charge move to keep up with fleeing opponents and attack through pokes. Once he closes the gap, he can apply fundamental grappler mix-ups using Potemkin Buster to punish the opponent for sitting still or heat knuckle to read jumps. Getting a good hit isn't easy, but Potemkin has one of the game's best backdashes and very high health and stun, so he can afford to be patient while looking for an opening, such as interrupting a block string with Potemkin Buster. Potemkin is your character if you're willing to sacrifice mobility for touch-of-death combos with the right hit. You like playing patient defense and punishing your opponents from small openings. You like spending time in training mode. Ramlethal Valentine. Ramlethal is Guilty Gear Exert's boss character, and she has the mechanics to show it. Her P and K normals can be chained together in many different attack patterns, including several overheads and lows, and her S and H normals control her giant swords, which she can detach and deploy on the screen. If she lands a hit or a command grab, her exceptional corner carry will likely lead to the wall, and her disgusting corner vortex will take care of the rest. Despite all this, Ramlethel is held back by her stubby, non-sword normals, low life, and very obvious combo burst points. And she only builds meter from her swords, so she must spend it wisely. Ramlethel is your character if you like the idea of frequently exchanging your pokes for assists, you like juggling your opponent across the stage in long combos, you're willing to trade defense and neutral for a very strong corner vortex. Raven. 
Raven is a fragile character who excels in neutral and set play thanks to his safe, long-range, disjointed attacks, great projectiles, and unique movement. His grounded forward dash is slow to start up, then becomes extremely fast and invulnerable and invisible. His aerial forward dash is replaced by a glide, which is both a blessing and a curse. Raven can use the glide for high-low Okizeme, but the movement is very slow, so he can't air dash freely in neutral. Supporting all this is his snowballing character resource, Excitement, which he can tick up slowly by using his special moves or quickly by gambling his life bar. Raven is your character if you want to win neutral, lock your opponent in block stun, and make him guess. You'll trade a forward air dash for great mix-ups. You want to control a match with disjointed normals and projectiles. Sin, Sin, Sin. Sin is defined by his food meter. It limits how much he can use his oppressive special moves, which he can also cancel into each other. His special moves include an invulnerable reversal that he can make safe, some of the game's best neutral pokes, and a command jump that grants mobility and mix-up potential, among other things. He also hits like a truck, and most of his combos let him refill the food gauge or run a mix-up afterwards, or both. Backing up this terrifying combination of range and damage are some exceptional normals, a great backdash, and two of the game's most versatile supers. Sin can do anything, as long as you keep him fed. Sin is your character if you enjoy melting other characters' life bars with a single combo. You want to force your opponent to play neutral on your terms. You'll give up some mix-up potential for great neutral, defense, and damage. Slayer. Slayer is strong but linear. He has many great options for poking or avoiding pokes, such as Mappa Hunch, his Teleport Dash, or Dandy Step. But each one is a big commitment, and he can be punished if he's wrong. But if he's right, it means huge damage, either from a counter hit or by spending meter. Slayer is also comfortable on defense. He has three strong anti-airs that lead to full combos, his teleport backdash lets him escape situations no one else can, and he can transfer backdash and vulnerability to his special moves. Slayer's tools are very strong, but you need to pick your spots to make the most of them. Slayer is your character if you like making your opponent afraid of you. You really like counter-hitting people once they're afraid. You enjoy finding creative uses for linear tools. You want the option to challenge almost any pressure or mix-up. Venom. Venom. Venom loves balls. All his supers and most of his special moves generate balls, and all his attacks will change their properties and hit them around the screen. Venom's balls let him rule neutral, either by limiting opponent's movement or covering his approaches, and apply safe mix-ups when he scores a knockdown. Venom's strike throw game is very good thanks to his comboable throw and the threat of carcass rate, which is a great pressure reset. Venom can easily win a round through set play, or by nickel and diming opponents to death with chip damage. If his opponent does manage to get in, however, Venom can only rely on mashing and system mechanics. He has no reversals or defensive options. Venom is your character if you want to have great control of the screen and set play your opponent to death. You like spending time in training mode. You like chip damage. Zato, Zato, one. Zato is a puppet character who summons his shadow, Eddie, to assist him in neutral and pressure. Zato is controlled normally, but Eddie attacks by releasing buttons. With Eddie, Zato can sandwich the opponent into command grab mix-ups, force unreactable high lows with buzzsaw, or throw in his 6k overhead for spice. In the corner, things become even more oppressive, since Zato can loop mix-ups and frame traps until the Eddie gauge runs out. If Zato hits or command grabs his opponent, he can set up an unblockable, and with meter that can lead to even more mix-ups. Without Eddie, however, Zato's normal and special attacks are very risky, and his defensive options are terrible, so he must play carefully until he can find a safe chance to summon again. Zato is your character if you want to control two characters at once. You'll take terrible defense in exchange for mix-ups and unblockables. You think it's fun to shift between being powerful and weak. 
you like spending time in training mode. 